Hey everyone, so in this video I'll show you how we can set up Hazelcast Management Center on our local machine or on any of the machine and how we can use it. So let's start. Hazelcast Management Center is basically a dashboard through which we can monitor our Hazelcast cluster. This dashboard is being provided by Hazelcast itself. We just have to download the Hazelcast Management Center bundle and we can just uh, start using it. As we create dashboards for our applications in different, uh, there are different tools through which we can create our own dashboard for our application such as Grafana, etc. So I've opened Hazelcast official website and I'm inside the download section. In this video also, I'm going to show you how to download and use Hazelcast Management Center for both the versions for 3.12 version and for the latest Hazelcast version. I've already downloaded the bundle but let me just show you how and from where you can download it so this is the official website if i scroll down you can see here that this is the hazelcast management center section now 5.2.0 this is the latest stable version of hazelcast management center when i'm making this video so as per your platform you can, you can download either zip tar or war file i've already downloaded the zip file of this version in order to download the zip file of previous version i'll have to go to the archive section so i'll click on see all archives and here i'll scroll down and find whichever old version i want to download so we will have to download the 3.12 version so this is the version so here also we have the option of zip and tar so i've downloaded the zip file let me just show you now so as you can see i have downloaded the zip file of 3.12.818 version and 5.2.0 version and I have also unzipped these two zip files. Now what I'll do, I'll first show you how we can use Hazelcast Management Center 3.12.18 version. And then I'll show you the same thing with the latest version. So I'll get inside the directory. So inside this directory, these are all the files, shell scripts and batch scripts which are present. Now in order to run our Hazelcast Management Center, you can see there is a war file, Hazelcast Management Center war file. So there are two options, either you can deploy this war file on some uh, web server, Tomcat or anything else, or there are some shell scripts and batch scripts. So with the help of those scripts also you can start these Hazelcast Management Center. So in this video I'll show you how we can start using these shell scripts. Now as per your platform you can either run the batch script, if you are using Windows you can run batch script, if you are using Linux or Mac, you can use shell script. Now I'm I'm working on Mac right now, so I'll run the shell script. So this is the shell script that I'll run start.sh. So let me just run it. So I just ran this command and you can see that our Hazelcast management center has been successfully started. And this is the address on which we can access our Hazelcast management center. So now I'll open this in my browser. So I opened that URL in my browser and I got redirected to the login page. I had already set up Hazelcast Management Center in my system before making this video as well. So I'm directly getting redirected to the login page. But if you will set up Hazelcast Management Center on your system for the first time, you will first have to create a username and password. And once you create a new user, then you will be able to log in. Now I'll enter my credentials and I'll click on login. So we got logged into our Hazelcast Management Center. Now since we have not started any Hazelcast cluster on our system, you can see that it's not showing anything here on the left side navigation panel you can see that clients is, are zero members are zero now as soon as i start our hazelcast server so this hazelcast management center will get connected to our hazelcast server and you can see all the data in this particular dashboard so let me just start a dummy hazelcast server application so this is the code that i have written what i'm doing i'm just creating three instances of hazelcast and I'm creating a map and putting some value and then printing the values. Also, you can see that the name of my cluster, my group name is dev. And here in this particular tag, management center, I've enabled management center. And this is the URL of my management center. In 3.12 version, by default, Hazelcast management center is disabled. So this is my configuration file. I would again like to remind you that right now I'm showing you how to use Hazelcast Management Center with 3.12 version. Even with the latest version, there is not much difference, but I'll still show you how we can do that in the latest version, that is 5.0.2. So now I'll just start this, I'll just run this class. So our server has been started. Now we will go to Hazelcast 
management center dashboard and see if we are able to view the data there or not so this is the dashboard you can see that now the data is getting populated as i have shown you in the code i started three members so here there are three members and even in this section you can see that there are three members and here you can see the ip address here you can see the memory that has been used by all the three members and there are some other informations as well about all the different hazelcast nodes that i've just started now in our hazelcast cluster application we actually created one map so you can see that here it is showing that maps count is one if i click on this maps it will show the name of my map and it, will, it is also showing the number of entries which i have inserted in this map so i had inserted only two entries so these are the two entries and it is also showing the memory that has been occupied by these two entries so our hazelcast management center dashboard is working fine it can now be used to monitor our hazelgas cluster so that's all we had to do now i'll show you how you can do the same thing in the latest hazelgas version so first of all i'll terminate the already existing hazelgas management center application and i'll move inside the latest version directory so inside the latest directory latest version these are the files and folders which are present so in the latest version we have a jar file in 3.12 version we had a war file but in latest version we have jar file so if you want you can directly run this jar file to start hazelgas management center or there are some scripts as it was in the older version that is 3.12.4 so all those scripts are present in this bin directory so you can go with any of the ways of starting hazelgas management center so right now i'll just start the script so i'll go inside bin directory and these are the scripts which are present in bin directory now from the latest version hazelgast have actually created a new shell script which is hz.hc-mc the other shell scripts and bash scripts are there just for backward compatibility even if you open the shell script the start.sh shell script you will see that there is a comment which says that this shell script has been deprecated and you should use the hz-mc script let me just show that quickly so i've opened this start.sh script and you can see that there is a warning which says that this script is deprecated please use this script so this is the latest script so in this video i'll just use this the latest script so let me just run it so i just ran this command and you can see that our hazelcast management center has been successfully started now again i'll open that url in my browser management center url so i open that hazelcast management center url on my in my browser and i landed on the sign in page again when you will set up hazelcast management center for the first time on your system you will be landed on a different page there you will have to create a username and password and you will also have to select in which mode you want to use hazelcast management center there are different modes there are some security settings through which you can access hazelcast management center because it is a dashboard through which you can monitor your hazelcast cluster and it is also running on port 8080 that is http port so if you are using this management center in your dev environment or in your qa environment or in your local system then you don't have to worry about all the security measures that you will have to take while using the hazelcast management center but if, if you are deploying hazelcast management center for your production environment then you will have to take care of all the security measures because you would not like anybody to access this management center dashboard in this video i'm not covering those options but in case if you want to know about those things you can let me know in the comment section and i'll make a different video and explain you how we can use those things so now i'll just put my credentials and i'll just log in also for this management center there are some constraints on the password that you can keep so you'll have to create your password using those constraints now i'll click on sign in so i got logged in to my hazelcast management center now as of now there are no hazelcast cluster or hazelcast client application running on our machine so we'll not be able to monitor anything so i'll again start my hazelcast cluster so my hazelcast cluster code is same the only difference is hazelcast version since we are using hazelcast management center 5.0.2 which is the latest version we will also have to use hazelcast uh, cluster of the same version that is 5.0.2 so this is a different project and you can see that i have added the this is a griddle project and i have added 5.0.2 as a dependency so once i run this application it will actually run hazelcast cluster with the latest version so this is something which you have to be careful about 
If you are using Hazelcast cluster of an older version, you should also use Hazelcast management center of the same version. Otherwise, there could be some issues. I have not tried that, but it runs fine for you. Then, then that's totally okay. But if it doesn't work, then you should keep both the versions same. This is my Hazelcast XML configuration file for the latest version. You can see that there are some changes in the configuration file like there is a different tag which is cluster name now a cluster name is dev at the bottom of this configuration file there is madmin center configuration and by default it is enabled so we don't have to do anything now i'll simply run this class so our server got started now we can go to the management center and see if we are able to see the data or not now this is the management center as you can see that this particular section this drop down was initially disabled when there was no cluster or hazelcast client application running but now this is enabled now if i click on this we can see all the clusters which are present so as of now there is only one cluster with the name dev so i'll select this cluster name and once i did that it got connected to our hazelcast cluster and all our hazelcast cluster data is now available in the dashboard so that's all you will have to do with the latest version i think it is very much similar to the previous version now this dashboard has got multiple features if you want to connect to multiple hazelcast clusters you can simply click on this cluster connections and you can click on add and then you can provide the address of any of the cluster members to which you want to connect and the cluster name as well so that's all about it i hope you are clear with using the hazelcast admin center with the old version and the latest version as well